another beautiful day Saturday the 30th of March and we've had this stunning weather all week right we're going to be trying something a little bit different today so we're only going local not too far is yesterday I purchased myself a new tent I'd already got a four-man tent uh, which was perfectly good enough with its size but it was one of these ones that's quite low so the tent's probably what about three foot high it's not very high and enough room in there there was a little porch on it but what I found especially last year when we was in Wales and it was raining it's quite tricky to get dressed and get all your leathers on when you're on your knees and you can't stand up so I thought I'll tell you what I'm gonna do we're gonna have a change so I did a bit of looking around and I found a nice four-man tent a regatta I think it's called a regatta family four um, so the footprints not really much different still about the same size but the one good thing is with it it's two meters high so it's tall enough for me to stand in and get changed porch is a little bit bigger and looking online i think they was around between the 280 and 300 pound mark now there was a woman around the corner from my work on spock who had bought it and they never did anything with it never took it out and kept um, they said the plan was that they was going to but there was been decided in the end that they didn't so they didn't buy any more camping equipment so she sold it to me for the grand price of 45 pounds bargain so i tried it last night in the garden and it was perfect to stand up in um, i didn't realize that the bedroom compartment um, splits into two there's a curtain between them so i can keep the one side for me sleeping the other side I can get the camping equipment in and there is there is enough room to put the bike in the porch so that's a possibility so we've got a couple of camping weekends coming up uh, we're doing snow down here in May we're doing the Isle of Wight with Island Biker in July the 13th and then we've also got the World Bad Weekender towards the end of July. So this tent will be good. I mean, look at this up here already. It looks like it's summer. This is where me and the wife want to move to. As I said, it's only around the corner from Birmingham, but it's a beautiful place. Hey Paul! Um. <laughs> I'm not here to camp! <laughs> you're not, I know you're not open yet. Well that didn't quite work out. Uh, the plan was I was coming here to the Caravan and Camping Club site in Clent. Um, I know the site's not open yet, it doesn't open till Monday, but I was hoping that was going to allow me on to put the bike on one of the pitches to do a walk around and take some photos of it with the camping gear on there's a the guy just over there he's just the assistant and he says the actual site manager's not on site he's out for the day he said so obviously he says, I can't really allow you on through the barrier which is understandable although I've been here many times camping but he doesn't know that right let's get mounted and let's see if we can find a nice spot where we can pull up and have a look at this camping gear on the bike. See ya! Cheers! Let's have a look up here.
See, that would be nice, wouldn't it? I'll pull up here. Right, if I can just get right in there as much as I can. Let's get the sand down. I'll just turn the baby off. Right. So here we are in the beautiful Clint. And just behind all of that over there is Birmingham and a Hull Zone and the M5. And just to think, this is about what from where I live. Two miles you have this. There she is. Here we go. This will be my camping setup. So we've got my panniers. At the moment, there's nothing in them, they're empty. Same there. We've got my top box. Which yes, I've had some grief for which put a top box on a fire blade. But for what I'm going to be using it for, it is a necessity. With my adjusted bracket my dad made off the grab rail. Works absolutely perfect. And then we've got this super tent. So Lengthwise, it's about the same as a four-man tent. My other four-man tent, I would probably say, is about, I'd say is about that high. Probably just about that right, so it's about that deep and about that long. And on the top, it's probably, actually, yeah, it's not that much smaller than this. It's probably to about there. So, you know, it's not massive. Okay, yeah, you see some people, they've got this, this tiny little tent at the back. But, I mean, last year, I had, to, I had a big, I think it was a big 80-litre bag on here, which had my tent in. It had everything in it. Sleeping bags, air beds, cushions, cushions, pillow, camping chair, everything. Well, now... My idea is, this is going to be my camping idea. Tent goes there. I might end up just having there, or just at the back, my camping chair. So, if I remember last year what I did, one side of these, I had my trainers, socks, pants, deodorant, toothbrush, shower gel, shampoo, and a towel. Yep, there was a towel in there. This side, I think I had my clothes, jeans, t-shirt, hoodie. Yeah, that was it. That's what I had in there. So that's what I did. I'll have toiletries in there, clothes in there. I will have my tank bag, my bigger one, my Oxford one. That will have the drone, my power banks, all the charging cables. 3D camera and then in the top box I will have my airbed, my sleeping bag and my pillow so it's just light in there so it's not in there and that will be me set up for camping. Camping on a 1995 Fireblade. Right. 
I think we'll have a coffee. We've got a flask with us. So we'll have a coffee. We'll take a few pics. And actually, I might get this 3D camera out. This review seed, I've brought it with me. So we'll have, we might have a look at that. Right. Oop, and I've dropped the camera already. It's only a little thing. That's review. See it? Two lenses. On and off button. This is where you charge. Put the memory card in. On the top, we've got a button to switch between camera and video. And we've also got the Wi-Fi button. So, let's have a look at this gimbal. Right, so this is the gimbal. I charged it last night. Let's tighten him up. So he's on. Right, we also get this little gadget, which allows me to view it on my phone. Let's get the phone on there. And what I will do actually, when this is recorded in 3D, I'll upload that footage as a separate video. So those who have any VR goggles can put them on. And you'll be able to see it in 3D. Okay, so that's the phone in place. Let's wait for Sid to appear. There he is. It's connected to him already. Okay. So we go to Sid camera. Uh, device. Connect. Okay, so as you can see, it's a split. It's a split lens. Right, so let's switch this gimbal on. So this records in 3K. Okay, let's record in 3K. Are happy with that? Record. Let's see how this gimbal works. I believe this little joystick, I can tilt the camera forward. Yep, there we go. So if we stay over. Let's have a look at me in 3D, eh? How better could you get? So, how do we... There. There's me in 3D, you lucky people. No, not, no, not. Let's um, see what the grass looks like. I thought it looks much 3D. The background horizon. The post. Now, this will be quite good actually. Um, we're going to use this in Snowdonia. Um, I am going to try and get this mounted ideally here on the bike facing me and we'll try some on the helmet, see how that works in 3D. So what are we now? We're in camera mode. Let's take a 3D photo of the bike. going to move the camera quite quick. Obviously there's a little delay on the phone, obviously seeing the recorded footage, but that's fine. That's good. Yeah, 
That gimbal's good. Like that. Let's do a 3D, 360. Switch gimbal off. Yep, gimbal's off. Not bad. So if all that comes out well, I think that will work quite well. Right, let's go for a ride. We've got 15 minutes. Let's have a little, a little cruise. So, thanks for watching guys. Only a short one this one. Well, knowing me, it won't be a short one. It'll probably still be 20 minutes long. But at least we've got out in the sun. So until the next one, thank you for watching. See you soon. Right, let's have some music. See you later, guys. Yeah.